I love books right. and uh, our audience uh, love books. They mm. look forward to the book recommendations. What books, Tinashe, have you read that have inspired you or that have had an indelible mm. mark on your life? Trevor, I've read quite a number of books. Um, if I go back into the past, funny enough, one of the books that inspired me was Things Fall Apart by Chinyo Achebe. Why? His concept mm. of the center holding or not holding, and when the center doesn't hold, things fall apart, was quite inspiring for mm. me. So the center becomes important. Whether it's you or it's somebody else, the center becomes important. After that, I read a book called Socrates and the Fox, mm -hmm. a strategic dialogue mm -hmm. by Chandel Ilbury and Clem Santa. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I had the fortune of attending a strategy session with them as facilitators, mm -hmm. Chantel and Clem. Mm -hmm. And the way they played the animal, the fox, and they concoct a conversation in the bush between Socrates and the fox, the fox. and they ask the so-called ten questions, which is, which is why they call it the dialogue, was fascinating. But for me, it opens up and says, I grew up a rural boy. I was interacting with these animals. And then how they survive when they are put into a position of like a corporate. Mm. Why can't we survive like that? Mm. That's, that, that led me to my third book, uh, which was After the Rain, mm. uh, Lessons from the Wild for le Leaders and Organizations by Anton Frost. And how he brings in and says the spider creating and using the network. The leopard strategy. The lion leadership and teamwork. And then I, I love nature a lot. So I watch a lot of nature uh, videos and documentaries and I go out mm. and, and see these animals. Mm. I've been fortunate enough to actually witness a lion kill. Mm. And, and you see that and you say, gee, these are the basics that make organizations work or fail. And how we can learn and must learn from that. Wow. Yeah. The things that nature right. has to teach us. Absolutely. And then I round that off mm. with Obama. Ah. Promise to power. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, by David Mendel. Mm. Absolutely fascinating. Mm. And for me, what was fascinating was the self-confidence, it was not arrogance, the mm. self-confidence that Obama had in 2004, just before he did his first Democratic Convention address. And there was a journalist who was telling him and asked him a question. And his answer was, I am LeBron, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and if you remember that point, LeBron James yeah. was this teenager who was really really burning a trailblaze in the American NBA. Mm -hmm. And that's how, and he said, I'm LeBron, I'm LeBron baby. baby. Uh, I know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and I've got a game to play. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, you know, you look at that and it inspires. <laughs>